This is the voice of doom speaking. Special bullet, flash, the sky is falling. A piece of it just hit you on the head. Now be calm, don't get panicky. Run for your life! Hi, y'all. Woo here. I've been ruminating on a subject that I thought I'd share with you just in case you're not ruminating on these matters yourselves. And maybe you ought to be. Do you know and use the word doomer? Apparently it's only been around for about a decade and a half, having appeared in and around the internet forums dealing with subjects like peak oil, resource limits, ecological collapse, economic collapse, overpopulation, climate change, and all kind of that kind of stuff. It seems hereabouts to be used almost exclusively in the pejorative sense by non-doomers who, at this point in time, comprises the quasi-totality of the population. Essentially, doomers come off as a target of ridicule, characterized as nothing more than disdainful scum. The reason that folks labeled as doomers are so reviled is that they shake up the world view that most of us hold dearly and don't seem to want to give up even if our lives depended on it. And I'm telling you, actually, that they really do come to think of it. Now, this world view that most of us hold is about humanity having God-given dominion over nature. We're so smart we can overcome any obstacles and solve any problems that might arise through our clever technology and innovation. If anybody dares to challenge this rigid, outmoded worldview, they're seen as a dire threat to the status quo, which is true, of course. Change is inevitable, and few seem to accept this reality, except in doomers, of course. Now, what I gotta tell you is that this elegant, all-encompassing, clue-cuss-word doomer is actually wholeheartedly embraced by us doomers ourselves, because it pretty well sums up everything rather nicely, in my opinion. The old English root of the word doom was already being used by the beginning of the 17th century by religious zealots to describe a miscreant's fate of being doomed to a hell of fire and brimstone for all eternity, and who knows, maybe even longer. Being an early onset doomer myself, I'm quite cognizant of why the appellation is commonly delivered in a vitriolic manner as an expression of revulsion and disgust. In truth, as I said above, this vitriol is a thinly disguised manifestation of fear and anxiety on the part of the non-doomer. A person who is ignominiously branded as a doomer by a non-doomer is assumed to be a raving, ranting pessimist, a crazy prepper, a dreaded conspiracy theorist, a delusional paranoid whack job, a nattering nabob of negativism, a bummed out bozo, a misinformed sad sack, a pathetic party pooper, an emotionally unstoppable crybaby, an end of the world nutcase, a chicken little, a pathetic loser totally depressed beyond redemption, deluded, off the rails, out to lunch, off in the twilight zone, you catch my drift. However, I suspect that as I am myself, most doomers would describe themselves as positively motivated, emotionally stable, proactive realists who are lucid, well-informed, clear-headed, forward-thinking, dot-connecting generalists. 
We are empathic, altruistic, and generous. We risk exclusion, disenfranchisement, and marginalization in order to inform and help others. We are motivated by unflailing optimism, knowing that even though things really suck and are a lost cause, our small efforts can at least help reduce suffering, which makes the whole effort worthwhile in itself. Of course, in the face of the usually violent denial by our interlocutors, these passionate efforts are met with such hostility that things usually don't even get off the ground. In a sane world, all these above traits that doomers possess would be considered positive and welcomed in the community. These very qualities render the doomer better suited to anticipate change and adapt more readily to adversity than most among us. It's too bad that our clarion calls fall on deaf ears. The gross error is that humanity is wasting a valuable trove of precious human resources at a critical moment in our history, thanks to pig-headed idiots. I guess most of us just can't do any better. It's a problem of wiring, or lack thereof. Whether we'll make it through the evolutionary bottleneck we're presently entering is anybody's guess. I sure don't want to wager on an outcome. When you get right down to brass tacks, you can define a doomer as someone who will face the music rather than turn a blind eye and sit passively waiting for a shining white in night armor to come galloping up on their gleaming white stallion to save our sorry ass from the dumb predicament we done got ourselves into. Are you a doomer or a dodo? Just asking.